Hello, I'm Mark Porter. I'm the Head of Agricultural, Civil and Environmental Engineering here at the University of Southern Queensland. So you become an Agricultural Engineer, a Civil Engineer or an Environmental Engineer. The majority of our students are doing Civil. We have uh, over a thousand of them and they can work anywhere around the world. It's now a global profession. So the students work in Australia for governments, for uh, consulting engineers, uh, and they work at some stage in their career increasingly in different countries. It's a creative profession, which is something a stereotype that a lot of people have doesn't, uh, doesn't bring across. The difference between engineering and science is engineering you get to do things, you get to do something that's new and create a solution to things, and that can be very exciting. We have people who run their own businesses now, who are doing it very successfully, working at fairly high government levels, and uh, yeah, yeah, around the world. You can, in fact, fit your study around your lifestyle and you can, you don't have to come on campus, you can, can go wherever you are. Our students are on every continent now, except Antarctica. We had a student in Antarctica, but I think they've now finished. You can work whatever hours you want, so you can have a, a job during the day, you can study at night or on the weekends, and our students around the world are studying in just about every time, every time zone. And well, so you can do that. You can then decide you've had enough of that and you want to come on campus, and you can do that too. And uh, it makes a great opportunities for you to, to adjust your career and your studies and put them together. Oh, because we're better, obviously. <laughs> No, the, the good thing about engineering in Australia is it's a nationally accredited program. So you can be sure that the degree is of the same quality wherever you are. They, they might have different flavour, different emphasis, but the quality of the engineering coming out is the same. Therefore, you look at what your particular interests are and you have to match that with the university. And, and in, uh, we're the only one that does agricultural engineering, for instance. And our civil engineering is very a very good program. So that's the first thing. The other thing is that in this age where engineering is in such a hot demand, where there are increasingly large numbers of students studying, the service that you get at the university becomes important. And so we still, I think fortunately, are able to provide a good personal service to our students.